Mesa Station. This is where the uh, Las Vegas Classic is held. We we'll go support the show. No, I never, I never it came used here. to be at the National, mm. at the, the college. All right, get in there. Oh, good. All right, guys, we're here in Las Vegas for the Las Vegas Classic with brand new promoter, Branson. Brand new because this has been a long, a long yes, it's, a, it's been a long way coming here. <laughs> yeah, man. Austin, very glad to be here, man. Thank you for inviting us. We, uh, we brought man. the champ over here also for the show. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. I, I asked him in uh, March, I think he was on live doing cardio, and I said, he said, I will be there, Austin. And I said, Did he actually tell you that? that. I held okay. him to that. Okay. So, I remember yeah, stuff. You see, when he doesn't travel, he's hard to actually commit right, to anything. Right, but he right. wanted to come here tonight right. and support. Right. Uh, of course, he knew your dad yeah, for many years. Uh, so talk, talk, talk about this show. You told me this is the longest running show in Vegas, right? You're right. It's 1990, guys. Wow. And just to give you guys a brief synopsis of it is 1990. We had IFBB Pro Charles Glass <laughs> guest poser because we were sponsored by Weeder Athletes back then. So Weeder Athletes had to do guest appearances. So I mean, you talk about. Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler actually guest performed yeah. in 2006. So we've had we've had them all. Craig Titus, Guntar Schlertoff, uh, Melvin Anthony was wow. here. I mean, you talk about the greats. It was this is a great show, guys. It's it's my home. It's it's my dad's <clears throat> baby, yeah. and I'm just trying to push that legacy to what he wanted it to do. So how many years is that for you to actually promote the show? Uh, I've been Cobra. doing it since 2017. And yeah, already since, it's been a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, since his since his passing, yeah. I, uh, I renamed it. It was the Las Vegas Classic. So 
you won the Classic, you were the Las Vegas title Classic uh, winner. Right. Now, Big deal. you're the Steve Carr Las Vegas Classic because yeah. of his uh, of course his contributions to the sport of MPC. Of course. I think we interviewed, I interviewed you back at Golds a couple of years when you first started. 2017, yeah. Yeah, when yeah. you first started. Yeah, so yeah. this is, how, how do you like promoting? Is it good? You know what? I'll be honest with you. Because you compete too. You yeah, actually told I, me you were supposed yeah. to, you wanted to do the Legion because this was two, a week before right. you couldn't do it. So. I love actually meeting the competitors and that's something that I, I don't know, it's just, I wake up and I'm like, man, I I love to promote the sport and then also to hear other people and that motivates me with my competing as well. So, yeah. you know, it's just, we all kind of help each other through all this stuff. So today you're uh, Austin promoter, but when will you be Austin the competitor? What's next for you, Austin man? competitor. Well, we're going to see. Uh, you look good right now. Look... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lean right yeah. now, but we're kind of on the cusp of uh, 212 going to the open. And You're a tweener. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I want to stay in 212, but that weight class is getting like pretty, uh, Tight pretty to lean. Get in. Yeah. 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 But you know what? I think there's a show in um, March, I want to say in Ireland. Okay. Muscle contest. Okay. Um, we'll see how that goes. And then we also got the Indie Pro in, I think it's in April. That's a good one. Yeah. Very good show. Well, we better be invited to shoot you in the gym uh, working out next time. Oh, I'm, I'm, Not in the suit. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honored to be there. Well, we're glad to be here. Good yes, luck sir. tonight, Austin, and uh, we're glad to come in. Just one uh, thing is, yes. um, I am sponsored by Project AD uh, as you a uh, are? as a Project Farm athlete. So we. Uh, I we love do, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. Have you seen the last, the first two videos, the first two episodes? I haven't been able to see him because the show's been so busy. I sent you. I sent okay, you like, cool. yeah, we did one with Brian, one with Joe. But yeah. we also have Miss Two Time, Shanique, Shanique Grant in the house. She'll so be here tonight. She'll yeah. be here tonight. Um, and we also got Project AD on our on our sponsor board. So we're. We're, we I stand behind the product. Joe. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, yeah they're Joe's really a great product. guy. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I love the brand. I love the products. It's well, congrats, man. Is that so. new or is that recent? No, I've been with them for about six months. Oh, and, well, it's uh, still fairly new. Yeah. yeah, okay. But I want to keep it on the brand. I love yeah, that man. Stuff, that's so awesome. It's, it's awesome. All right. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, thanks, Dave. I appreciate right. you guys.
face front. Four and 44 switch. Come on, baby. Four and 44.
25 plus years that involved, involved in bodybuilding and transitioning from Massachusetts out to Las Vegas and calling Las Vegas home. I've been welcomed here, won Mr. Olympia titles here and, and like Sarah said, the hometown favorite to always do my performances and always made it that much more special for me. But now to be on the other side and be someone that can be on the promotional side and, and have a, a legacy or career and still travel the world as a ambassador of bodybuilding, it's, it's been a huge opportunity, Un unexpected for me. I never imagined I'd reach that status, starting off at stages like this. And you know, it's, it's all possible through the efforts of, number one, all these athletes, but the support systems they have from the family and friends and coaches and all the mentors, these judges that sit in the judging panel, the sponsors here that make all these contests possible as we continue to flourish. The NPC and the IFBB moving in different directions with divisions that I never had the opportunity to witness when I was competing, like I said, over 25 years ago. It was men's and women's bodybuilding only, and now you're seeing all these new divisions that gives everyone of height, stature, size, condition that gives everyone the opportunity to stand on these stages and be competitive. So I encourage anyone sitting in the audience that has maybe the vision of themselves standing and competing on these stages, I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to stand up there because I was one of the ones that sat in the audience when I was a teenager and said, man, I don't know if I can ever do this. And I stood on the stages and I fell in love with it and that's why I became who I became. And the challenges that we fight every day in the gym to show our efforts on stage. It's just absolutely amazing. Let's continue with the show. I just want to be able to say a few words and thank everyone for coming out to support and uh, continue to have a great night. Congratulations to everyone that stood up on this stage because you guys are all winners. Thank you. <laughs> and the Austin and crew, congratulations. Your dad brought me to the show in 2006 because he predicted me to win the Mr. Olympia that year, right? And I won. I think a few weeks prior to that. So I, I guest posed on these stages and uh, kind of left that legacy behind too. And I appreciate uh, much respect to your father and what he established here and for you continuing that, that effort to continue to put on the show and dedicate it to him. It's awesome. Thank you.